New tonight, a Thanksgiving celebration uniting two cultures. Coastal Church Chesapeake hosted an American Ukrainian Thanksgiving dinner, welcoming those fleeing the Russian invasion. More than 100 refugees attended and were provided with resources to help them get by during their time here on Hampton Roads. 10 on your science, Michelle Wolf has a story. We are trying to make them feel like they're home. A night of prayer, food, and family. We have about 50 families, and we have a hundred plus people total. Marina Jarrett is a member of the Tidewater Ukrainian Cultural Association and helped organize Tuesday's Thanksgiving dinner and food giveaway for Ukrainian refugees. They came here, um, they left everything, like all their belongings, everything is home. Those who came out got a traditional American Thanksgiving meal with Ukrainian desserts and a full Thanksgiving meal to take home and prepare themselves. The Tidewater region showed support for Ukraine. Local businesses also stepped up to provide health care services for those sheltering in Hampton Roads. Refugees like Elena Elipemko and her 11-year-old son Seva. Right now we are here, also almost three months. And we're all praying for Ukraine. Ella Pemko tells us Seva's father, grandmother, and her father are still in Ukraine. Her biggest fear is the coming winter, where temperatures typically dip to 35 below zero. The situation in Ukraine becomes worse and worse. Right now, they have electricity. Um, they have no heat at normal. They have no food. I can't believe it's true. It's just in 21st century. Ella Pemko says it took months for her, her son, and their dog to leave their country and credits the generosity of complete strangers helping her family find refuge in America. I'm really happy that we are here now. Thanks all of I appreciate, I'm grateful for all people who helped me during this trip. They gave me everything. They gave me clothes. They gave me food. They gave me uh, Housing. Ella Pemko still keeps in touch with family and friends back home, praying for the day when they'll no longer have to worry for their safety. We all believe, we all pray for them, we all do our best, what, what we can do in this situation. We should be strong. And that was Michelle Wolf reporting.